Welcome to the Inventi SAR tutorial video series. I'm Nicole and I will guide you through the future and use of our diagnostic audiometer. On our Pure Tone exam is available via air and bone conduction or through free field output. During this video, we'll have a look at the available settings and how simple it is to carry out a Pure Tone audiometry test. On a harp keyboard, you can clearly identify three regions, including buttons with functions relative to channel control and settings, general shared settings and communication between patient and operator. The four buttons on the upper part are function keys with different purposes depending on the exam screen. Red and blue buttons are relative to the selection of the ear under test. Red for right and blue for left. Press both at the same time for running a bilateral test. Transducer selection is done by pressing the output key. Push it to change from air conduction to bone conduction to free field. Press input key to decide whether to send a pure tone or a warble tone as a stimulus, a narrow band or a white noise as a masking signal. Intensity level can be modified by rotating the knob. Increasing the masking intensity from minus 10 dB will automatically turn the channel on. Interrupters are available, both for channel 1 and channel 2. Simply touch them to send the stimulus through the respective channel. Two buttons allow the change of the current frequency value. Harp frequency range is from 125 up to 8000 Hz. General buttons include the dB step setting from 1 to 5, the pulsed option and two keys to link the masking channel to the stimuli. Tracking is for maintaining the intensity gap. while lock is to synchronize the activation. On harp, it is possible to measure HL or UCL threshold. Press the function key to switch. Hi again, I hope you find the information here helpful in getting familiar with the Pure Tone exam on Harp Audiometer. Now I think it's time to show you how easy would it be to run a test using Harp. Let's go!